So there's lots of different ways you can transport your road, gravel, mountain, cruiser, you know, whatever. Transport your bike. And today, we're gonna specifically talk about one. We might mention the others. Let's get on topic. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Thomas with Get Out Arizona and you are watching another fabulous, intriguing, mesmerizing, possibly hypnotic episode <laughs> of Toolbox Topic. <laughs> I'm joined once again by my co-host Brandon Van Leuven. Brandon, how the hell are you? I'm a little thrown off. I'm on the right. You are on the right. <laughs> the right side or wrong, my friends. <laughs> Yes, usually it's the other way around. <laughs> and as you can see, the scenery's changed a little bit because we're actually out in the showroom because we're going to talk about transporting your bike, yeah. whether it be a road bike, mountain bike, cruiser, whatever the case may be. They've got this beautiful display rack out here and we just couldn't necessarily get it into the <laughs> mechanics area. So it was just easier to move the camera out here. So a little bit different. A little uh, change of pace, scenery. it's good. Yeah. I'm on the right, we're in the showroom. Yeah, nothing wrong mixing with it mixing up. it up. So. <laughs> Is there Brandon? <laughs> 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 yeah, we won't go down that road just today. Um, but today, and as we alluded to in the uh, beginning, there's lots of different ways to transport your bike. We've seen them, roof racks, hitch style racks. People will drape that cloth over the back of the tailgate <laughs> oh, yeah, on the, the tailgate. truck. Yeah, bungee, um, bungee cord. Yeah, bungee yeah. cord. There's, uh, yeah, we've seen it all. <laughs> but we're gonna specifically talk about hitch mounted tray racks for your because we love them the best yes absolutely <laughs> and at some point i'm going to go cut and we're going to fade out and i will show you mine which that'll actually be filmed in front of my house <laughs> and then we'll go okay we're going back the magic of video and then we'll kind of go back into the exit but yeah let's talk about it so First or, of all, for these are our favorite, not necessarily brands, but this is our favorite way of transport. Configuration, configuration. Yes. So yep, if you absolutely. prefer to drape it over your tailgate, if you prefer <laughs> a roof style rack or whatever the case may be, that's fine. I don't care if you identify with a cat, kumquat, or the man on the moon. This is our preferred way, yeah. our preferred method. And, and <clears throat> unfortunately, some people just can't do this because their car doesn't accommodate a hitch or right. there's other reasons. But mm -hmm. if you have a hitch or the ability to get a hitch and you like your bike, <laughs> this is the way to if do you it. like your bike, yeah. get this kind right. of kind of rack. Um, we'll fold one out here. This one happens to be the Yakima, might be easiest. Yes, this is the Yakima, not <clears throat> to be confused with the Yamaka. Oh, no. Although that would be cool if there was a Yamaka Does brand shot bike get rack. Floor to ceiling on the shot? What's that on our shot? It's floor to ceiling. I don't know. Let me double check. <laughs> that almost sounds like bass to mouth in South Park. <laughs> All right, we're zooming out a little bit, guys. Yay! Yeah, 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 here we go. <laughs> All right, full body shot now. <laughs> this is a full body shot. Uh, so the reason we love this is a, it's the most secure. <laughs> it is the most secure. Right. It is the most versatile mm -hmm. and it does not harm your bike and you are gone literally in two seconds for per bike, I would say. Yes. All you have to do is set your bike inside the tray. Mm -hmm. This goes on the front, this clamps on the front wheel. Yep. It does not touch the frame. Nope. Which is what I like. It only touches the rubber of the front wheel and the back tire um, using this. Right. And you're gone. Dealing with the roof rack, dealing with the hanging style, even the yeah. hanging style um hitch rack it's just so time consuming and then your bikes will you know have potential to yeah flap to, to around hit each other flap around hit your car Touch potentially when you're when your bike is in this thing it is <laughs> <laughs> oh guys this would probably be a good time for me to ask you to hit the like and subscribe button because most of you are going to check out right now but before you go hit like and subscribe because it'll help this video and the channel out immensely mm -hmm. And I can afford more therapy. Joking, guys. <laughs> um, Bikes anyways. flapping around, hitting each other. Right, right. Cars Super we secure. Were <laughs> Very quick. Yes. And that that's why we like it. Yeah, absolutely. But it is going to run you probably the mower on the upper end of price points for any kind of rack. Right. You're going to be. I believe least, this one's four ninety nine. Yeah, you're going to be paying at least around five hundred bucks for a quality tray hitch rack. Right. Right. Um, now. When I first started coming to 
Track Bicycle Store of West Phoenix, I actually purchased this Yakima rack, this exact one. It, it worked amazingly well, and I replaced it with the one I currently have, mm -hmm. um, which is the One Up, which I absolutely love. That thing's on steroids, which you'll see that in a little bit. Good. But I didn't have a problem with this. There's no reason to be bougie like me and spend the obscene <laughs> amount of money I did on my rack <laughs> when this one will work you know, great for it. Um, and Yakima is a trusted brand. They've been around forever. I have a lot of, I have Yakima roof racks, hitch racks. I have mm -hmm. a basket, rooftop tent. He's got a basket. <laughs> <laughs> I like Yakima stuff. It's it, always it been very really good. good to me. Yep, yep. absolutely. Now, um, as far as that goes. A couple of things for people to know right. about these. Well, there's a few things I want to run by you. Right. You have to know which hitch you have because yes. the hitch either comes in one and a quarter or two inch or a two inch and mm -hmm. you can either go up to a two inch uh, with an adapter from your or excuse me you can go down to an inch and a quarter correct but you can't go but up you can't go up if your hitch is this big you ain't going up <laughs> yep, exactly. i don't care how much spit you throw on the end of that it ain't gonna go in yeah <laughs> um, so know the size of your hitch mm -hmm. know the bikes you plan to carry yes because weight's a factor their weights are a factor if you have e-bikes you have to have an e-bike rated mm -hmm. one um, if you are towing behind a trailer, if say you have, you have a, to have a trailer rated you, one, right? If you have an RV, yeah. yep, if you have an RV right and you're towing a Jeep and that Jeep has the rack on it, it you have this whip whiplash effect on here yeah. and you need a special it's rack a for that transfer of kinetic energy that will literally crack like a whip and snap right there right. and that sucker and then goes your bike, your rack, everything. Right. So horrible, horrible. Also talking about the bike you're going to carry. No, if you just have road bikes you don't need one like this uh evo that carries can carry potentially a five, five inch, inch mountain bike right but if you want the versatility of carrying up to a five inch mountain bike road bike everything mm -hmm. you can get the evo you can get this kuat this trace out kuat that'll carry right. just Let's go ahead and anything what is this now there we go <clears throat> oh, and i know that's style wide enough yep same style but again, you can, with this flat system here, you can put anything you want on here. Yeah. But if you just have road bikes, think about that. Cause, and you only plan to carry road bikes, you maybe not, don't need something uh, right. quite like this. And I've actually seen the Kuat racks quite a little bit in the Valley over from like last fall. I'm starting to see them gain in popularity. Absolutely. And they are a lighter, they are much lighter. They mm -hmm. are, they're a nicer looking rack for yeah. sure it's gotta look <laughs> than anything sure. out there in my opinion it's i don't know really the, nice the tule rack. racks are are pretty sleek and sexy they're higher they do ones. You. yeah you know definitely have a good aesthetic right. i refer to the tule racks as kind of like the apple <laughs> of your trailer racks They've been around a long time yeah, a long time and they have a really nice aesthetic but yeah. all of them are really really good um dare i say tough as a coffin nail <laughs> again my experience has been with the yakima and the one up rack and they've both have been bulletproof, but I have heard things about the Kuat. Um, now, we won't hold it against them that their name's Kuat because that sounds like something you catch after going to Las Vegas <laughs> and you need a shot of penicillin for it. But regardless, now, um, standard issue, what's the weight rating for these racks? Because I know on the Yamaka, Yamaka, mm -hmm. Yakima, <laughs> Um, I've carried two e-bikes, Josh's e-bike and my e-bike. And so call it 110 pounds as far as that goes. Yeah, and I it, think you were over, over the recommended Overrated? weight. Okay, for the one I had. Yeah. yeah I still did it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there probably is some fudge factor in there, but right. you know, they want to be safe. They want to yeah. make sure nothing happens to your bike. Right. Um, you probably could carry two e-bikes in there, but it's not recommended. All right. Okay. So yeah. make sure you get the one that's weight rated appropriately weight rated for what appropriate. you have. Yeah. Another thing to consider, some of these uh, trade style uh, hitch racks do have the capability to mount um, extensions on them. Yes. So particularly this one, you can see you can remove the cap, put two more bikes on here. Mm -hmm. um, so you have that ability in some in some fa uh, cases as well. Yeah. And you can see, I don't believe, well, actually this one will do it as well. There's yeah. a cap here and you can yeah. extend to four, four bikes. So there's that mine as well. well. I know when I got mine out of the gate, I got it with three trays. And so I can add another tray and actually a basket if I wanted to. Uh, that's cool. Um, and that's just because, you know, if whether, if when I can actually get people to go ride with me, <laughs> it's two to three riders and I don't want to have to throw a bike into the back of the Tacoma. Again, it's yeah. inconvenient and stuff and not necessarily as safe to carry. Mm -hmm. um, they do get heavy though. 
especially, they do. especially this Yakima one, when you got four bikes on there, it turns into a beast yeah. oh, to yeah. carry around. Absolutely. So keep that so. in mind as well. So. All right, guys. Well, here we go. Three, two, one, Magic of Movies. <laughs> All right, everyone, so we're in front of my house. As you can see, this is my one-up rack. Now, I really like this because this is an integrated brake light turn signal, which is really cool. And that license plate holder flips up when the rack's up. So at no point is there any obstruction. Now, <laughs> this rack is very heavy duty. And if you go to the one-up website this is actually listed as the super duty and you can get it in this um, aluminum or you can get it in black and again it's a great rack it's going to hold everything i need it to hold there's a varieties of accessories i appreciate it because it's also made in the usa um and yeah you know i really don't have much more to say uh, about it other than that but uh it's so far over one year man it's handled everything um, off-roading, four-wheeling with bikes on there uh, to get to the trail and everything, and uh, it's very robust. Uh, the only thing I've had to do is every once in a while, I kind of show you down there and see how much I can zoom in, or let's see if we can get it from underneath, maybe. Zoom in. Every once in a while, I need to tighten her back up right there, and I like the fact that that is a security key, uh, Allen which they give you two, so you keep one in your garage and one in your uh, center console of your vehicle. Um, but yeah, every once in a while, I just tighten her up, and uh, that's it, guys. Kind of, you can see, made by one up. So, all right, let's get back inside uh, Truck Bicycle Stores of West Phoenix and finish out the video. And now we're back. There. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that was a video of my. I like um, K-Pax. Right? Yeah. It was like K-Pax. <laughs> God, good reference. It was a good movie. I enjoyed that movie. Kevin Spacey. That's Gun in the West. Yeah. Before he was touching other boys' butts. Oh, man. You reminded me. That's too bad. <laughs> he's so good, but so bad. All right. Well, he's got to do something. Um, geez, we're so hot talking. He didn't have to do that at he all. He didn't have to do it at all. <laughs> um, anyways, so yeah, so that was my one-up rack. I, I love it to death. But again, that's not to say that there's really anything wrong with these racks. Now, you don't have a Thule rack assembled, but you can get a Thule rack. We are Kuat, Yakima, and Thule. And Saris. Saris, dealers. authorized dealers. Yeah. So if you any of those four... Um, you can come down, you can talk to Brandon, he can get one ordered for you. Now we have to talk, this isn't necessarily a bike showcase, it's a toolbox topic, but we have to ask, because six months ago, you couldn't order one of these to save your life. It's getting better. Now it's getting better. Yep, so I what would you say the, the wait time? I mean, you have some in stock, which is great, but if someone wants to order one or order the attachments, what are we looking at? Maybe I think six availability to eight is getting very good now. Okay. I think we do have uh, stock ready to order. Okay. Ready to go. Which is good. So if you guys need the accessories, they can get those for you. So, all right, guys. Well, a little bit change of pace. I mean, we usually talk about bikes and how to work on bikes and everything for toolbox topic. But hey, if you're going to transport that bike that you spent so much time do it the way we do adjusting it. and we're right. tuning into it, <laughs> we're right. Jesus, <laughs> man, we are right. Don't. <laughs> So, and we're not global biking experts, so, you know, you definitely, you can trust our opinion. We're not sponsored. <laughs> Joking, they're fine. Other than being British, they're okay. Um, okay, I'll get off that horse. So, all right, guys, there you have it. So, another episode of Toolbox Topics in the book, Bike Racks, How to Transport Your Bike the Most Effective Way is going to be the hitch mount rack. If you have a vehicle that can accommodate it, we highly recommend that you pick one of these up. Um, because it's the way to go. It's what the cool kids do and me. So there you have it. <sighs> right? So like, subscribe, bell notification icon. So you're going to help out the video. You're going to help out the channel. And you're going to be informed of all the new videos that get uploaded. Be one of the first to watch it. And now you can be part of the cool kids. There's also going to be a link down below to Trek Bicycle Store of West Phoenix. If you have any questions about this video or any of the other videos you've seen, follow that link. Give these guys a call. They'll be more than happy to assist you on that. And really quick, Brandon, as far as pricing on these racks, so probably somewhere between $259, $299 for the entry level up to $600. 
That's somewhere fair. There. Yeah, yeah around there yeah okay. they're not cheap yeah they're not cheap but they're well worth the money so um so if you have any questions on that give these guys a call we also have our instagram our facebook and our TikTok links down below follow those to keep up on the day-to-day -day affairs of toolbox topic where we announce toolbox topic get out of arizona where we announce <laughs> our group hikes our group rides and all kinds of fun activities that we do Links down below as well are the affiliate links, and I have to let you know about those or I'll get bitch slapped by YouTube. If you follow one of those links and you make a qualifying purchase, we do receive a very small commission, but you will not be charged anything additional. So it does help out the channel again, park passes, gas money, and coffee. So Brandon, anything else you want to add about these racks before we go? I think we covered it. I think we covered it as well too. So guys, what do we always say at this point in the show? Kind of yourself and others because it's important be amazing stewards out on that trail you want to always be a good representation for your fellow hiker or biker and we have to ask what are you waiting for get out arizona nice we'll on see. Cue that time. yeah you were on cue that time <laughs> we'll see you guys on the next adventure take care everybody brandon thanks a lot man, cool, man. we'll see you next see week you.